There is more than one way to stream your content wirelessly. Today we're gonna find out the advantages of Google Chromecast and Pro Screen Cast. Hey guys, this is a casting device, you, you know, if you ever wanted to stream your content wirelessly onto a big screen or projector without dragging long cables with you or just moving the entire computer, something like this will do. Up until now I've been using Google Chromecast. This is the 1080p version, so one of the older one, because my projector is 1080p so I have absolutely no advantage of streaming 4K. Now this, however, this small device is capable of low latency streaming in 4K and 60 frames per second. Now if you just want to use 1080p in 60 frames per second, that is possible too. So inside the box you'll find everything that you need. You're gonna find Pro Screencast SC01, there's a short HDMI cable, just enough to hide the device like this behind your TV, and the short USB Type-C lead that, well, you can use any available of USB-A ports on your TV or similar device to get it powered. Now this connects to your 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi, but for the best benefits of streaming, I would strongly recommend you to use it obviously on 5 GHz network for the better bandwidth. And if you wonder what is this button for, it's a very handy shortcut to actually rotate your screen 90 degrees, especially useful if you are going on a business meeting or trip and you see that projector that you're going to cast your very interesting spreadsheets and they all upside down. This is how you do it. One press and it will rotate your screen 90 degrees. Very handy. The setup itself is very simple. Once plugged in, it will create a P point to which you can connect and configure your Pro Screencast. There isn't really that much to set either because you'll only have to really connect that to your network to start using it. You can tweak this a little bit with the different types of presets for streaming, but that's about it. But one of the things that you'll have to select up front is the streaming resolution and that's going to be obviously down to what kind of content you're going to be streaming on what kind of monitor or projector and device. So on the surface both of the devices are doing exactly the same job. They cast the content to your wireless display. However, Pro Screencast comes with one disadvantage and well a pretty good advantage too. So you might be thinking what is the disadvantage? Unfortunately, this device doesn't support HDCP, which is required to stream DRM-protected videos. That means if you're interested in streaming Netflix or Amazon Prime or similar services, you are out of luck because this is not going to show up in your app as a wireless display that you can connect to which is very annoying. So while you won't be able to stream that content in a traditional way, there is a workaround. You will be able to stream content like YouTube or any free videos like Vimeo or Dailymotion, but when it comes to paid content or paid streaming services, you are out of luck, at least in a normal way. So that was the disadvantage. What is the advantage? Well, clearly the latency. This thing, the Google Chrome, is absolutely horrible when it comes to latency. There is about almost a second of difference between the input and displaying stuff via Google Chromecast and, well, that's unacceptable if you want to use anything but streaming that content. Annoyingly, the only way to connect your desktop computer to Google Chromecast is to actually use the browser. In there you'll have an option to stream entire screen so you can swap it around but that's the only way to do it and you can quickly notice how bad the latency is between one wireless display and the other i mean it's not usable not even close swapping things to the pro screencast i've set it to 1080p because this is a 1080p display and you can see the instant difference i mean there is almost no lag there is a tiny little bit, but it's not something you would notice without actually paying attention. And that applies to both 1080p streaming and 4K in 60 frames per second. So for that, this is pretty awesome. 
but no one ever got excited about streaming the Excel sheets or websites on wireless display. Let's do something fancy, like playing games. And in my test, I couldn't even tell that I'm playing a casual game like Spider-Man on the wireless display because there was virtually no input lag. I know while playing competitively, you probably wouldn't pick as your option because there is a tiny de delay, you just don't notice it that much. But if you're into competitive gaming, that it will put you in a disadvantage. But if you ever wanted to, I don't know, connect it during a party to a massive TV and stream some games from your computer upstairs and uh, use controllers to have a go with your friends. <laughs> I use a controller to have a go with your friends then that's the most elegant way to do it. I also mentioned that there is a workaround to that limitation of HDCP. If you are opening an app that requires HDCP compatible streamer, you won't even see Pro Screencast as an option. That's the annoying bit because you never know whether the app's gonna work with it or not. It's fine for YouTube, Dailymotion, Vimeo, and stuff like that, but if you're trying to open that in uh, Amazon Prime, it simply won't show up. To work around it is to actually mirror your entire display. So if you're on a computer, you can select that as your primary display, open the web browser, and play your media in the web browser. That way, you're gonna bypass the limitation of this device, and you can actually watch movies this way. So, it's annoying, it's a workaround, but if you prioritize low latency streaming over something like convenience of streaming with Google Chrome, then Pro Screencast is definitely an option. For your convenience, it's also cost with a built-in streaming service, it's called EasyCast, and it's a, I guess, a casting aggregation or streaming aggregation platform, which is gonna pull the random content from random sources for you to play. It works really well and you don't even have to open an app all you have to do is just a scan QR code and right straight away you'll be able to select the content you like and start playing on your wireless display. Despite the obvious limitations, Pro Screencast actually has its own users and if you prioritize latency over having fun on Netflix, then that could be an interesting device, especially that it's priced accordingly. It's right now $69.99, which puts it in a ballpark figure of the 4K version of the Comcast, which is gonna come with the same disadvantages, so it's not too bad. Therefore, if you are interested, in the description of this video, you're gonna find a link to this tiny little thing, so you could check it out for yourself. As for now, I do not have a posting schedule, so if you're interested, what's next? You know how YouTube works, I'm not going to explain you that. I have a, a list of social media down below, which you can definitely check out and follow. As for now, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.